Hello there, this is Mili from Visualize and in this video I'm going to show you how you can use our import function to track multiple shipments all together so you don't need to track them one by one and manually and it will really help you uh, save your time because you don't need to track the shipments one by one. In this method you only need to have an Excel file containing the shipments information. An Excel file like this that has all your shipments information and there are some columns that we need to have in your Excel file. These columns need to be in your Excel file. The very first one which is required is a reference. Reference can be a container, BL or booking number. And in the reference type we, sh we tell the system that what type of reference was in the previous column. Like if it is a container, we put CN here. If it is a BL, we put BL here. And if it is a booking, we put BK here. CN, BL, and BK. And the third column is the shipping line name. If you track by container, you can set it on auto, so the system will automatically detect the shipping line. If you use a BL or booking, you need to write the name of the shipping lines here. So for containers, you can just leave it as auto or you can write the name of the shipping line. But for the BL and booking numbers, you need to write down the name of the shipping lines in this column. Column D or the fourth column is the shipment name. It is very important to give your shipments names because once you receive email notifications or even in your dashboard, by this name you can detect your shipments easier. For example, once you receive an email update from Visualize, the name of the shipments will uh, appear in your inbox. So you can give your shipments name to detect them easier. The next column, the fifth one, is tags. Tag is a very powerful tool to use on your dashboard. You can categorize your shipments by tag. You can give, for example, the incoterm of your shipment as a tag. You can, for example, um, here I have a tag which is called Red Sea. It shows the shipments that have been affected by this Red Sea crisis. So I categorize my shipments uh, in this way. In my list, in my dashboard, I can create a view and see just the shipments that have, for example, Red Sea tag, or they have LCL tag or FCL tag. So by tags, you can categorize your shipments. The next column uh, is assignee. Assignees are the team members on your workspace on Visualize. You can assign shipments by inserting their email addresses here. So the shipments will automatically go uh, and will be assigned to these people here. So if you put your uh, team members email address here, they will be, uh, th these shipments will be assigned to them so they can receive email notifications for these shipments and they can create their own view in a way that they will just see their own shipments. The other columns here are additional information that I want to have on my dashboard. The point is that if you have additional columns like me here, you have to first create them on your dashboard. How? You can come to your dashboard, go to the settings and then custom fields and here you can see all the custom fields. Custom fields are those additional uh, pieces of information. You can create one new column on your dashboard and for example I write test and I will give it uh, the data type here. It is a string, it can be a number or it can be a date and then I will create it. And going back to the list here is uh, these columns. Reference, reference type, shipping line name, shipment name, tags and assignees. They are already existed in the system so you don't need to create custom fields for them. But any other pieces of information that you want to add to your shipments, first you have to create the custom field on the dashboard. So. Once we save this 
uh, file, we can go to the dashboard, go to the new shipment section here. And instead of writing the container number here manually, we can go to multiple shipments and upload the file part. We can choose our file by clicking on this area. We will open it and then we will click on continue. The next step is to map the columns of your Excel file with the columns in your dashboard. For example, reference here is reference here. So I can click on reference, reference type and all other columns. As you can see here, most of them are mapped here because the good point is that once you map the columns just for one time, they will be, you don't need to map them again. So you only need to map the column once and the system will remove. Here there are two columns I don't need them to add. So I say don't import unmapped columns data and then I click on import. Here in this page, I can see an overview of what is happening to my shipments. The shipments that uh, have been already existed on my dashboard, they won't be duplicated, they, they won't be created again. So you can see the updated uh, status here. And the new ones will be tracked. If they fail, you can see the reason of the failure here. So right now, as the track status of the shipments, all of them are successful. I can go to my shipment list and see the shipments that have been added to my dashboard. I can see all the information here, like the columns that I have. As you see, I created a new column test, but I didn't uh, put it in my file, so I don't see any information here. But all the shipments are tracked here, and that's it. If you had any questions, please contact us and have a good one.